We need to talk about what is happening on the Apple TV right now because it is quietly becoming the most powerful streaming device you can own, and it has almost nothing to do with Apple's own apps. There is a shift happening in the ecosystem, a movement driven by a single piece of software that started small but has exploded into something massive. It is called UHF, and if you have been lurking on Reddit, scrolling through tech forums, or watching the deep dive reviews on YouTube, you already know the buzz is real. This isn't just another media player. It isn't a clunky port from an Android phone or a hastily thrown together project. This feels native. It feels like it was built by engineers who actually understand tvOS. And that distinction is everything. But we aren't here to just hype it up. We are here to tear it down, analyze every pixel, and figure out if this app is the future of media consumption on the Apple TV. We're going to look at the interface, the new add-on integrations that are changing the game, and whether this justifies the ecosystem investment. And just to be crystal clear from the start, this is not a tutorial on piracy. We are not talking about cracked apps, shady repos, or illegal streams. We are talking about legitimate, paid, compliant services running on a powerful, officially available app that you can download from the App Store today. Let's start with the core of what UHF actually is because it is easy to misunderstand it as just another IPTV player. It certainly started that way. It was designed to handle live TV playlists, M3U files, and stream codes better than anything else on the platform. If you have ever used third-party media players on a TV, you know the pain. They usually feel like desktop apps forced onto a big screen. The fonts are too small, the scrolling is jittery, and the remote control feels like an afterthought. UHF flips that script. It is built for the Siri remote. Every swipe, every click, and every scrub feels fluid. It respects the physics of the Apple TV interface. You can load a playlist with 12,000 channels, and the app doesn't even blink. It doesn't stutter, it doesn't crash, and it doesn't lag. It renders the grid, the metadata, and the electronic program guide instantly. That level of optimization suggests a complete re-architecture of how these apps handle data. It prioritizes resources intelligently, ensuring that the user interface remains snappy even when the back end is processing massive amounts of information. The user experience is where UHF really separates itself from the pack. It is minimalist, clean, and grid-based. It supports dark mode natively, so it doesn't blast your eyes at night. Navigating through thousands of channels or movies feels manageable because of how the categories are structured. You can filter by country, by genre, by resolution, or by favorites instantly. The switching speed between channels is incredibly fast, almost rivaling traditional cable boxes, which is rare for IPDV solutions. It handles subtitles perfectly, mapping them correctly without the syncing issues you see in cheaper apps. It remembers where you left off. It catches metadata for movies and shows automatically, and it creates a continue watching row that actually works. It is the kind of polish you expect from Apple's own software, but applied to your personal media library. But the reason UHF is trending right now isn't just because it is a solid player. It is because of a new integration that effectively turns your Apple TV into a universal media hub. UHF has added support for Streamio style add-ons. If you're familiar with the media center world, you know this is a game changer. It allows you to paste direct URLs to import content sources. This means you can have your live TV channels, your on-demand libraries, and even content from apps like Infuse, all accessible from one single dashboard. It consolidates the fragmented streaming experience. You get 4K HDR streams, Dolby Vision support, and high-resolution audio all flowing through an interface that looks like it belongs on an Apple device. Visually, the app is stunning. The typography is clean and legible. The posters load instantly. The panning animations are buttery smooth. There is zero clutter. One detail that caught a lot of attention in the early leaks was a small status window that appeared in mockups. People speculated it might be a picture-in-picture -picture mode or a secondary preview S. Crane. It turns out, it is something much more practical. It is a status dashboard. With a quick glance, you can see your current stream quality, bitrate, battery level of your remote, connection status, and buffer health. 
It is a brilliant usability feature that saves you from digging through settings menus just to check if your internet connection is holding up. It respects the user's time and keeps you in the immersion of the content. The setup process is shockingly simple, which is another barrier to entry that UHF demolishes. You don't need to side load anything. You don't need a developer account or a computer to install it. You go to the App Store on your Apple TV, you download it, and you open it. The onboarding is intuitive. You select Add Playlist, give a name, paste your server URL and credentials, and hit Save. That is it. The app takes over, fetching your library, mapping the logos, and populating the guide in seconds. There is no manual configuration required. It just works. Performance-wise, UHF is a beast. Whether you're running an older Apple TV HD or the latest 4K model, the app scales beautifully. It manages system resources so efficiently that it doesn't cause the device to heat up or drain the remote battery excessively. It feels lightweight, yet powerful. This balance is hard to achieve. We see so many apps that become bloated as they add features, eventually becoming slow and unusable. UHF seems to have avoided that trap, maintaining its speed even as it adds complex integrations like the add-on system. This app represents a shift in how we use the Apple TV. It proves that you don't need to be locked into the default apps to have a premium experience. It empowers the user to control their own media, to aggregate their subscriptions and libraries into one cohesive, beautiful interface. It is the best IPTV experience currently available on TVOS, hands down. Whether for live sports, news, or binge-watching movies from your personal server, it handles it all with grace and speed. If you're tired of switching between five different apps just to watch what you want, or if you're looking for a player that actually respects the hardware it runs on, UHF is the answer. It is legit, it is powerful, and it changes everything about how you use your Apple TV. If you like this deep dive into the software that is transforming our devices, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Share this video with your friends who are still struggling with clunky media players and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update on the latest tech tools. Let me know in the comments. Are you sticking with the default apps or are you ready to take control of your media library? Thanks for watching.